Hello, excuse me, 911? Yes, I'm at the park and um, I see some really tall black men. They're about uh, 6'2 and like their skin is like really dark. Like I don't know what's going on with their skin. It looks just like chocolate. I'm being threatened by a man in the ramble. Please send the cops immediately. You want to call the police on him for having a barbecue on a in Sunday a at the lake. Yes. I just. All of these women have been identified as Karens by the internet. Like, except darker, you know, like that dark chocolate that you have to pay a dollar extra for. And yeah, they got like really scary eyes, like they look like wolfmen. And like, yeah, like, like, yeah, I saw them get out hot dogs and hamburgers and I saw them get out lawn chairs. Like, they're gonna be here for a while and they can't be here for a while because like, I'm having a barbecue and my uncle is coming. And yeah, you know, yeah, yes, please get them out of here. Yes, they're breaking the law. Yeah, uh, trespassing. Uh, black people don't belong in the same park as white people. I don't care what you think I'm acting like. None of these women are actually named Karen. But to many people, they embody a certain persona in American society. A white person who uses their status and power to threaten or humiliate people of color. Yes, 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 what, what, what? Well, I think, like, mostly they're, they're niggers, you know? You need to come get them right now because they're freaking, you know? And, like, yes, yes, they do have hamburgers, yes. Yes, and lawn chairs, please come and get them, arrest them. It's trust, they're trespassing on public property. They're trespassing on public property, that's why I'm calling you, officer! Please come get them! My, my, my name, you want my name? My name is Karen! Karen is a white woman whose oblivion of their privilege causes them to act in a way that is oppressive and oftentimes insane. She is crazy. You're crazy. Absolutely crazy. See? See? Some might think that Karen is just a loud white woman asking for the manager, you know, disrupting your customer service experience. But I'm here to tell you, Karen goes a lot deeper. You need to leave. You're not a part of this. You need to leave. You're not a part of this. No. A Karen is a white woman who is a descendant of those who came before her, who could scream and get a black man killed, who could point and get a black woman murdered. The use of Karen has become much more serious as protests erupt around the world following the death of George Floyd. People with Karen-like behaviors have made national news within the past few years and continue to be exposed. Please don't come close to me. Sir, I'm asking you to stop recording me. Please don't come close to me. A white woman appears to call police, accusing a black man of threatening her after he asked her to put her dog on a leash. This woman don't want to let a little girl sell some water. A little girl was trying to sell bottled water so she could go to Disneyland. Now her story has exploded. That video of her neighbor calling the police now viewed more than a million times. Teresa Klein accused a nine-year-old boy of sexual assault, and the store's surveillance video tells a different story, clearly showing the boy's backpack accidentally brushed against Klein. Hello, officer? Officer, I would like to report an emergency. Officer? Yes, yes. I am at the Dollar General. Yes, yes. You will never believe what I saw. I would like to report a crime. Yes, yes. I saw the most vicious monster ever. They were about five years old. Old. They For me, these videos are very triggering. I think that there's a certain level of like, oh, ha, 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 they're annoying when you're just watching it. But in when you're in that situation, it is not an annoyance. It is a disruption of your being. Ma'am, can you just back up yeah. just a tad so I can talk to her? Thank you. Sure. You know that as a person of color, specifically a black person, you are the one who is going to be in the situation of having to prove your innocence. Our nation's current unrest shows how these behaviors can be much more dangerous than we think. Unfairly policing people of color is embedded deep in America's history. Karen just happens to be the new name for it. Take the 1955 murder of Emmett Till, a 14-year-old black boy who was lynched after being accused of flirting with a white woman in Mississippi. She admitted her claims were false decades later. So Karen isn't always just a woman who likes to speak to the manager. It's much deeper than that. They had like two pigtails, and on their pigtails, they had like 
dinosaurs in their pigtails and anyways let me tell you okay so that's the description they're about five years old they're about i don't know maybe three feet tall and yeah they're thieves okay i saw them still a barbie doll and i would like to report it because like crime doesn't pay and like just because you're a child like you think you can steal stuff like you cannot steal stuff and like this little black kid needs to go to jail uh, yeah yeah before they turn into a monster like you know like like this like let's prevent crime now you know the term has burst into the scene as racial tensions reach a boiling point in the U.S. The phrase may be new, but Karen-like behavior has been a constant in this country's history. Now that we caught this little girl red-handed, we need to take her to jail, you know? So please come get her. She's about, I don't know, maybe three and a half years old. Yeah, yeah, and, and before she becomes a vicious criminal, we need to... Justice needs to be served. Like, please come get this child.